My name is Kim Stackhouse Lawson, and I'm the director of AgNext at Colorado State University, where we focus on the development of sustainable solutions for animal agriculture. I've spent my career focused on um, sustainability in food systems, um, working in beef production and dairy production systems, um, looking for ways to optimize um, sustainable practices and still deliver great products to consumers. Agnex is a multidisciplinary initiative um, where we focus on the development of sustainable solutions in animal agriculture. And we're a forward focus group that's working on innovating um, technologies and management practices to enhance both the health of animals and ecosystems, to promote prof profitable industries and really support those rural communities by which our food is produced. And I think it's really important to remember that sustainability is complex and it can oftentimes be emotional. We need to really approach it from the triple bottom line of environmental, social, and economic pillars to ensure that we have win-win solutions that are viable for producers, um, help improve the environment and help improve um, animal welfare and, and the lives for people, and also to continue to deliver um, food for, for our global population because it's incredibly important. Ruminants are really important um, to ecosystem function everywhere. And in fact, um, ruminants are a part of the natural um, carbon cycle that exists um, in both confinement, but also um, extensive animal agricultural production. So when you think back to um, how ruminants interacted more in a natural environment. There was, of course, the um, wild bison herds, and then we still today have um, wild ruminant ungulates. And their job is to take forage um, and to remove that forage from, from those ecosystems to allow um, new forage to, to grow. And so they've long, long been a part of the natural carbon cycle that um, existed. Today, they are not only a part of that natural carbon cycle, but they also provide us food um, and their upcycling powers of really taking um, forage and turning it into some of the most um, nutrient-dense um, protein and of course other vitamins and minerals that we get to enjoy from our animal agriculture partners. The other thing that is incredibly important in the sustainability front is that we stay focused on improving efficiencies. Um, so really focused on um, doing more with less. And that's great because there's, there's a win-win there, right? It helps the environment um, and it should make producers more profitable as well. I think oftentimes we wanna make sustainability about single issue and it's not, right? It's, it's a holistic topic that involves much more than um, just one thing. And so technical experts who can help understand that, who can help identify unintended consequences, who more importantly can identify win-wins where a producer can implement a solution and you know perhaps it helps on animal health, you know, helps improve animal health, um, and it also makes that producer uh, more profitable. Those are the kind of sustainability solutions that uh, we want to see implemented. Dairy farmers have been sustainable for an incredibly long time, right? And um, today there's greater expectations for um, documenting that, um, those not only practices, but the outcomes that we see from those, from those sustainability practices that have been implemented. Um, and then, you know, we also need to be focused on um, really being intentional about those sustainability practices that, that we may be able to implement to improve sustainability um, on a dairy farm. And it, it could range from, you know, feeding potentially um, someday when we get a feed additive that reduces methane, right, to feeding an additive that reduce, reduces methane that also hopefully improves animal performance, to implementing a new um, worker health and safety um, protocol that really advance, advances or improves the lives um, of your team members to a different health protocol that might um, be implemented with, with calves or in the hospital pens. So, you know, anything that helps improve that dairy from an environmental, social, and economic perspective 
is a sustainability practice. Sustainability is really a holistic approach and we talked a lot about greenhouse gases and carbon footprint and it's um, an awesome example of a sustainability indicator but it's not the only one. And um, also I don't want anybody to be afraid of sustainability. It's an incredible opportunity for our industry to connect um, with stakeholders in a way we've never connected before and in a way to really demonstrate um, that the Animal agriculture is a noble profession to be in and to help consumers and stakeholders feel better about our industry and the food product that we provide.